Welcome to the second part of uh, questions to do with the questions you need to watch in um, further logarithms, which might not be direct. Kuringa na na me explain in the lessons that I taught. So, nisha fundisha two questions in the first part. So for this final part, let's see how many questions we'll do. So now my first question, as you can see. Uh, there is a solve for x in this equation the equation is clear so just explaining about the equation you look at the equation very well you notice on the left there is a log to the base of 3 and on the right there is log to the base of 9 so to listen, uh, if you want to solve equations then the basis must be the same in that case you can con compare the values and know what to do we'll do how that was so now upper kuna shida because there is three there is nine but the good thing is eh, i can see a three and a nine and nine relates to three i can write nine in terms of three so because of that una fikiria first how can you like simplify this so this whole thing takes me to this law in the foundation in the last part lisema log a over log b is that the same as log a base b so back to this question here i look at this <coughs> i can change that into that form and let me explain so this statement here can be the same as log 2x minus 1 over log 9 i'm doing this because i want to simplify and see come and a part of values in terms of log to the base of 3 so rewriting this i have log x base 3 equals to this value i've just explained so now look at the denominator there is log 9 log 9 is the same as 3 squared and 3 squared can be written as 2 log 3 so simplifying this part i've written this when you equal alafu equals to log your numerator but equal but this denominator here have simplified it to get this value which is 2 log 3 now uh, once i get this i go back to this my law again with this law because i want to rewrite this in the form of from this form up to this form akumbuka hapa kuna coefficients this 1 over 2 hiyo itakuwa tu coefficient so i have log 3 base x equals to a half which is this a half i love this log and this numerodisha in the normal form which is that so now in this case i have log to the base of three log to the base of three then now i can solve this in a normal way because now i have logs to the same base so nikendelea nikona this statement we said that when you're solving logs to the same base the same base in equations una make sure kila mahali kuna logs una make sure kuna coefficients so the next thing i did was uh, get rid of this coefficient it goes the other side becomes a, a power so once you have that then you get rid of the logs you solve the uh, algebraic equation in ekwandani which is x equals to 2x minus 1 raised to a half so if you simplify this further half you multiply all sides by 2 by 2 to get rid of this half which leaves you with the x squared equals to 2x minus 1 so for this quadratic equation we solve the quadratic equation in a normal way that we know until we get the value of x and in this case the value of x equals to 1 okay the second example I'll explain is a, a question to do with the logs. Ten amara is simultaneous in a way. So straight to the point, they said solve for x and y. So there are two unknowns. Anytime you have an equation with the two unknowns, it ends up being simultaneous. So kuna two logs here. The first one is log this base two equals to four. Now for the next one, log this base seventeen equals to one. So this question takes you to the idea of uh, changing logs to indices and vice versa so nikiangalia statement vizuri 
I can derive this from logs to indices. Na in indices tulisema, unasema hii number raised to this equals to this. And that's what I did here. 2 raised to 4 equals to 2x plus 5y. Then 2 raised to 4 is the same as 16 equals to 2x plus 5y. That's my first equation. This rewritten in the form indices. So the next one, which is this other part, I'll do the same. 17 raised to 1 equals to this, which is this statement here. Now, when you simplify <coughs> this statement, it will be 17 raised to 1 into back 17 equals to 3x plus 4y. Then, this is my second equation. So I have these two equations, the first one and the second one. Now, when put together, clearly, it is a simultaneous equation. We know how to multiply, work out simultaneous equations. In this case, I used uh, elimination by making the values of x the same. To do so, I multiply the first value by 3, lafu yingine, we might multiply by 2. So, I have solved, I got the value of y first, the value of y equals to 14. Once I got y, took this equation, where there is y, we can replace the value I got, then solve to get the value of x. Then, we've got the two values, which are x equals to 3 and x equals to 5. So, equation, kitu ya maana tuwe nye likuwa pani, they're trying to see if you understood the concept of uh, changing logs to indices and indices to logs because it's just how you begin. Kama uta begin vizuri, upata these values, solving these other things, nile normal to enye tumezoea, you can do that. Number three. Number three question is... Uh, given that log x over y equals to 9 over 2 and log brackets x raised to 5 y squared equals to 5 you're supposed to find the value of log x and log y so now again this question in a kurudisha to back to those normal laws because to when you see divide in logs you're supposed to split this by uh, bringing in a negative sign between the logs and when you see multiply in such a statement in Amanisha, you'd split this by bringing in the addition sign so the first thing I will do is uh, write this in uh, in terms of log this minus log this so come on log x over y then should be log x minus log y equals to 4.5 9 divided by 2 and the same as 4.5 then the second one this one upper it over times so in a manager in terms of logs we will add this to this so his statement here upper a becomes 5 log x because x raised to 5 in terms of logs x log x raised to 5 which is the same as 5 log x alafu the next one it equal plus 2 log y equals to 5 in so doing you clearly have some two equations here now it's just simultaneous here for a simultaneous equation to solve such i can use elimin elimination so just like the other question i want to eliminate this value here now a negative positive by making the values equal the same then mark the other so since any two any one I multiply the upper one by two the lower one by one so it will be if i multiply this statement by two leaves me with two log x minus two log y equals to nine this here becomes five log x plus two log y equals to five then to eliminate this, I add. If you add this to this, it gives you 14. This should be 0. Now, you can add logs by the way. 2 plus 5, provided the logs are the same. You just add the coefficients. So it equals 7 log x. So if you divide both sides by 7 by 7, you'll get log x equals to 2. Remember, 
they said find log x and log y so you already got log x in that case next is uh, you use this to get the value of log y in one of these two statements in is Goku you just substitute so I substituted in this here to get the value of log y kumbuka tumesema log x is the same as 2 so nimesema 2 times 2 that's why this minus 2 log y e2 statement when you equal then equals to 9 so this leaves you with 4 minus 2 log y equals to 9 if you simplify you get the value of log y as a negative 2.5 so I got the value of x, I got the value of y. Always ukimaliza question, unaandika the two answers pa moza. Usiwache moza uko na ingine uko. So the answers are log x equals to 2, log y equals to negative 2.5. Next example. Next example is, uh, uh, such questions may actually even not really require logs as such. Labda ni indices too. Lakini sometimes you never know. You can get values. Then you do proceed. At the end, let's move introduce logs. And that's why we actually do this question in this case. But he ineza fanyo wata na mtu mwenye form 2. Solve for x and y. It is 2 raised to x plus 3 raised to y equals to 5. 2 raised to x plus 3 minus 3 raised to y plus 2 equals to 23. So now, first equation, Aina Shida, you just write it the way it is. But this second equation here, you split the powers. So come on, 2 raised to x plus 3 becomes 2 raised to x times 2 raised to 3. Then there is this minus, there is a 3 raised to y times 3 raised to 2 from this statement, then equals to 23. So once you split these values, you notice something. You notice that kila mahali tuko na 2 raised to x, 3 raised to y. Those are the main values. So, we come in with this. Unasema let 2 raised to x be like a, 3 raised to y be like b. Any letters of your own choices. Then, any place you see in the two equations, those values replace with the, the letters that are given. So, the first one should be a plus b equals to 5. Do we? The second one will be in 8a, the 8a minus, love for this here will be 9b, which is 9b equals to 23. So clearly, we have a simultaneous equation. I use it to solve a and b, even though I wasn't asked for a and b. But after getting a and b, I use the a and b's values to get what I was asked for. So with these two equations, now I decided to use elimination. For elimination, not elimination, sorry, a substitution. I made B the subject so that I substituted. So I said B equals to 5 minus A. In the second equation, where there is B, they make a 5 minus A. I solved. You know how to solve a simultaneous equation. Then I got the value of A as 4. Uh, after getting a4, need to substitute here, here, to get the value of b. And the value of b was uh, 1. So once you get the values of a and b, you go to the main thing. Question is require x and y. And upper three sema, let 2 raised to x be a, 3 raised to y be b. So let's focus on this first, a. I got a as a 4. So to sema, if 2 raised to x equals to a, then 2 raised to x equals to that value I got, which was 4. Then 2 raised to x equals to 2 raised to 2. So in a manisha, the value of x equals to 2. And this is why I said, supposing we put a like 5, then now equation in, include logs. Then in the log 2 raised to x equals to log 5. Because akuna venyoneza relate 2 na 5 in terms of indices but for this one it was clear uh, we got the value of b as one again 3 raised to y was the same as b so 
3 raised to y equals to the value of b I got, which was 1. But 1 in indices is the same as any number raised to 0. So 3 raised to y equals to 0. Oh, 3 raised to y equals to 3 raised to 0. So then, if the bases are the same, we compare the powers under the value of y equals to 0. So the two values were x equals to 2, y equals to 3. That. So, you look at that particular question, how you're supposed to solve it, you actually need to go through the same, same process. So now, uh, at your own free time, if you can look at this question carefully here, up, the way it is, I want you to try work it out. Now, come out to correct these are the answers that you should get so this is the end of uh, uh things that uh, extra things i wanted to explain in the topic further logarithms nimejaribu nime explain obviously ukifanya questions you come across some strange things zenye mtu anaweza kuanza explain but you try to use the ideas of all the laws in the topic at least they should uh, lead you somewhere Thank you for your time, and just like we had said, Zaribu, uwelewe hizo vitu, rewind, paka ushike vizuri, because you never know, they might help you. I alafu, we say that you tell your friends, okudze wa, subscribe buku, so that anytime we are doing these things, tufanya pamodze. Alafu, give me 50 likes for this, upload then i'll think of uh, something else which might be better to also share with you